it, it is that time of year and it's somewhat dreaded mm. because you got to crunch all those numbers you got to go way back you got to go through all your records and of course we're talking about your personal mm -hmm. tax returns and with June, with June 30 fast approaching, our expert has some simple tax tips to help get the best bang for your buck. We are joined now by financial advisor Olivia Maragna from Brisbane. So Olivia, what are some things everyone can be doing to maximise their tax return? Well, good morning. And I think the important thing is to keep in mind is that we do have five working days left to actually maximise your tax uh, refund. Uh, so look at really basic things like bringing forward expenses into this current financial year. So, uh, you know, instead of getting the tax refund next financial year, you're bringing them forward into this financial year and getting some really good benefits. Uh, so prepaying things like subscriptions, membership fees, but also talk to your bank about prepaying some interest on an investment loan. Uh, so if you've got some shares or a rental property with an investment loan, a great way to actually boost that tax refund for this mm. current financial year and just some really basic uh, repairs and maintenance on rental properties is a good idea but just keep in mind a lot of people have a perception that whatever you spend you get a hundred percent back that's not true you only get what your marginal tax rate is yeah. so as a very simple example if you're on fifty thousand dollars you spend a hundred dollars you're only going to get around about thirty dollars back mm. high income earners will get much more low income earners next to nothing so just keep that in mind when it comes to spending money around tax time yeah that is definitely a, a common mistake out there so I mean, is it wise now to talk to you to your accountant about what is actually tax deductible for you yeah, I think it's really important to make sure you're having a conversation at this time of year because if you are a low income earner and say you're earning under $20,000, spending money before the end of financial year is not going to give you any boost to your tax refund. So make sure you're having that quick conversation but looking at your uh, income for the year to work out exactly what you should be doing at this time of year. Well, what other incentives are there that might result in some extra dollars? Well, I think there are two really main incentives that a lot of people don't take advantage of. And the first is where you've got a working uh, a spouse where they're working uh, maybe part-time or not working at all, but earning under around about $37,000 per year. You can actually contribute to their superannuation fund and boost your tax refund by up to around about $540. So that involves putting around about $3,000 into their superannuation fund to get that nice rebate. Uh, now keep in mind you have to be a taxpayer, so again if you were earning $60,000 that non-working spouse, you're going to get that $540 back. But also there's a co-contribution, which is where you add some extra money into your own superannuation fund and the government co-contributes on uh, for you. So they'll actually top up your superannuation fund. That involves a, a contribution into your super fund of only $1,000. Uh, but just keep in mind for both of these incentives, there are some criteria on the Australian Taxation website. There is some really great guidance as to what your eligibility is, but some great incentives to get some free money uh, before the end of financial year or to boost that tax refund. Yeah, everyone likes the idea of free money, that's for sure. <laughs> are there any other money smart actions that can be taken before June 30? Well, I think um, in terms of talking about superannuation, there is a new rule that's come into effect this current financial year that most people don't know about, and that's where you can add extra money into your own superannuation fund, but claim a tax deduction for it. So again, if you're on that uh, income of, say, fifty dollars or $60,000, you've got around about $5,000 sitting in savings for the year, and you want to contribute that into your superannuation fund, you actually now have the ability to claim that as a full tax deduction. Uh, so this is a new rule, like I mentioned, that's come in this financial year. For someone on that putting that amount of money into superannuation, an extra $1,500 in a tax refund. So again, make sure that you're looking at those tax rates, your marginal tax rates, to make sure uh, how much you get back. Obviously, if you're a high income earner, you're going to get even more back. Um, but some really smart things there, but also look at things like your investments. So if you've triggered a capital gain this financial year, look at your existing investments to see whether you've maybe got some losses in there as well. Obviously, realising those losses will reduce that tax bill. So mm. don't sit back and wait. Uh, some great ways, even with a week out uh, to, to maximise your tax refund. Well, some great tips there. Yeah. Thank you, Olivia.